turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well, it's not as far-fetched as it may seem. In fact, both local San Francisco... Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see by the title, I am continuing on with part two of completely revamping my beauty room. So if you haven't seen part one, I'll link that down below. Don't forget to watch if you like decluttering and organising videos, because that's basically what I did in that one. Decluttered my makeup, put it all behind me on this beautiful display. And now I'm finally on to the final touches of my beauty room. So this video is going to be a little different to the last one. It's going to be focused on how you can get a complete beauty room and makeup room on a budget. And that's exactly what I've done. I've completed my room. And I think that's one of the most important things is to know how you can do this cheaply and affordably. So I've been gradually decorating my room, changing it up over time. And I've finally got it how I want it. It's complete. I can't believe how I've managed to get here but it has been done like I said on a really strict cheap budget and I honestly couldn't be happier with it especially during lockdown as well and I know you will all be feeling the same way you just want to do new things try new things change up your room do some decorating do some DIY everyone's doing house stuff at the minute so I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon and finally complete it so if you like this video please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every single time I upload. I'll link down below everything that I've used in this video and used on my beauty room as far as I can remember. And I'm just going to take you through exactly what I've done. So my IKEA deliveries just arrived. I've been waiting for this day for absolute weeks. I absolutely love IKEA. Everything is so cheap, so well made and just absolutely perfect for a beauty room. So I ordered the Cullen drawers which are a set of drawers from IKEA. Very, very similar to Malm, but the much cheaper version. So I got these in the size 70 by 72 centimetres. So they're not too big, not too tall. You could sit at them as a dressing table, or you could just use them for storage and as like a sideboard. So they come with three drawers, very spacious. So I basically just built those as quickly as I could. They weren't too hard. I had a few little mishaps, but that's just me. <laughs> They were all in all really easy to put up. I put them up myself. You could easily do it by yourself. And these were £30. So honestly, so, so affordable. Comparing these to Malm, which are around double the price, around £60. I couldn't really tell the difference from the pictures. But now that they've arrived, I can see that the Cullen drawers are more matte compared to the Malm, which I've had before, which are a little bit more shiny. So they've got a different texture but the Cullen drawers still look stunning. I think the Malm drawers would pair perfectly with a Malm dressing table, which also has like a shiny finish. But if you can't afford the dressing table, you can just go for a desk like mine. I also had an Argos delivery, which was so, so last minute. I ordered them last night and it came this morning. So I basically got this really thin but wide bootcase. Very, very similar to the Billy bootcases from Ikea. The Billy bootcases are really popular and I've seen people use them for bag and shoe storage which is what I really really wanted but Ikea didn't have them in stock. So I went for this alternative which is exactly the same price, £35 and I ordered them last minute because they weren't in stock for weeks but I checked on a one-off and they suddenly were. So I got these to arrive around the same time as Ikea so I could construct everything together. The main difference between the Argos bootcase and the Billy bootcase from Ikea is that the one I've got is shallower, not by much, but around 8cm. I really like how shallow this one is because although it's only 20cm in depth, everything fits on it perfectly. It's absolutely amazing for shoe and bag storage and decor. And it takes up hardly any room at all, so you can't even tell it's in the room, basically. It's absolutely perfect for a small space, like I've got just a very, very small spare room where I do my makeup and film. So I've finally got them up. I've got the bootcase up and the drawers. I'm so, so happy with how they look, and now it's time to decorate them. So I've basically just hauled all of my shoes and bags just onto the floor. They were all in the other room, so I've just like got them all together and I'm just going to try and organise them best I can, see what looks best, and yeah, let's just give it a shot. Is it too far? 
so just for some finishing touches I've got these bags that I actually love to collect so obviously it doesn't really cost any money just to save the bags from your shopping so I've got a Calvin Klein one and a Tommy Hilfiger one which will probably look really nice here but I've actually got loads so whoa. Yeah, that went well. I've actually got loads, so inside of this big Jack Wills bag, I've got another larger Calvin Klein one. I've got a couple of Guess ones. Got a Victoria Secret pink one. I even keep tags, because I just love them for decoration. Like, how cute does that look? So if you want a bag shelf and don't actually have that many handbags like me, then those bags that you've saved from shopping actually make a really good decor. I've also got these Pandora ones which I absolutely love. I used to have them on my other shelves which I'll be showing you soon but I've just popped them here for now. It's basically just a load of Pandora bags that I've collected over the years. Don't get us wrong, it's not like I go to Pandora and buy absolutely loads. These have been collected over years from birthdays and Christmases and I just love to keep them. So I've just popped them all inside to pad this bag out and then I've just tied it with this bow. I think it looks so, so cute and like I said, just makes some really good decorations. So as you can see, I've popped some bags on there. I've got a Ted Baker makeup bag. And at the top there, I've got another makeup bag. As you can see, I love my rose gold. And I've got my Ted Baker sets, which I don't use all too much, but they make really nice decorations. So I've got those up there, and obviously I can get them down when I want to use them. I've got a picture there of me and Stephen, which I just thought was really cute. And a couple of storage boxes. As you can see, I've got my pink and rose gold one, and I've got my marble one at the bottom here. I haven't got all my shoes on these shelves, and as you can see, some of them need a bit of a clean, so I'll be doing that soon and sorting them out properly. But I've got my main shoes on here, so I've got casual ones down here. And further up, I've got my heels and going out shoes. I've also only got my nicest bags on display, so my Ted Baker, which I love. My Guess, which is my all-time favourite handbag. I got that at an outlet in York. It was £27. £27 for a Guess bag. I thought that was unbelievable, so I just had to get it. So that's my favourite and I've got a River Island one down here, right at the bottom because I use that one quite often so it's ready just to pick up. Another thing that I absolutely love about these shelves is that they are adjustable. So as you can see I've got some gaps which are bigger than others. I've created very small ones for my shoes and bigger ones for my bags. They were so so easy to put up, like I've done it in about half an hour and the shelves are really easy to put in and adjust. So as you can see this just slides up and then you can just move the little pegs and pop them into whichever holes you want and just slide the shelves down so if you want to change things up and have like bigger gaps or smaller gaps you can do it literally in seconds like that is how quick it is so yeah i'm not sure if the ikea billy bootcases do this i would assume they do because they're usually very versatile if not you now know these argos ones which i have linked down below do have adjustable shelves so absolutely perfect for storage and for your beauty rooms. I've then just popped my makeup case on here just for now and my salt rock lamp next to it which is absolutely gorgeous at night by the way like when you light it up it just brings everything out like it's so gorgeous. I've then got these drawers all empty and ready to put things in so you get this slightly smaller drawer at the top and then at the bottom those two are slightly larger but only very very slightly so I'm gonna have to have another sort through and see what I'm gonna put in there but like I said great great storage very easy to put up very cheap and just such an amazing way to add storage to your beauty room on a budget so I got these fake vines last year I know you might be thinking what the hell are you doing with fake vines but I absolutely love my plants and greenery. I think it just brightens up the room. So I got this last year for my birthday. It uses a sort of background for YouTube and I haven't got round to doing it. So now that I've painted my room and I'm busy revamping it, I thought this is the perfect time to actually put them up. I've got some command hooks, so we're gonna stick them to the wall and hopefully not cause any damage. I'm just gonna give it my best shot, really. As I said, everything I've used, I'll link down below. So if you are interested, which I'm sure you will be when they look 
Really nice one that you put up. And yeah, you can try them out for yourself. Let's give it a go. So I'm gonna put them up this wall, the really short one, just to give the edge of my desk like a bit of decoration. I'm gonna try and move my makeup along without it falling out of this stand and then I'll be organise it after, but obviously I need to get to this wall. It was going so well. So I put one on in the corner. The instructions are really strange, like they don't really explain what you do, but it does say wait an hour after applying the hooks to use for decorating. But I really don't think like that's necessary at all. I've just pressed it firmly for 15 seconds like it said and it seems really firm. And these aren't very heavy at all so I think I'll be alright. I'm going to go ahead and apply some more and see what it's like. <laughs> So it basically looks like a tree right now, but that actually worked. Should I just leave it like that? So basically I put the hooks on kind of offset from one another. So like one here, one here, kind of not straight up so that I could hook them around in a sort of snake shape and that seemed to work. I'm going to start placing them just in the same fashion and hook the top back around, start coming down until I've covered this wall. It looks like there's going to be far too much so at the end I'll probably just cut some off. So they're up. Oh my god, I absolutely love them. So obviously not to everyone's taste but I just think it brings the room together and I had this bright idea to attach my lights also to the hooks so ready for the big reveal i just absolutely love it oh my god one thing i'd realized was it wasn't one long piece of vine it was actually in sections which made it so much easier and also it looks more natural so at the top the excess is like hanging over which makes it look like a little bit more natural so i could just hang them down in strips Overall, I am so, so pleased and I really want to do the other walls, but obviously I can't do them all, so. Like I said, I'll link down below where I got the vines from. They're just off Amazon, but I'll find the exact link if you're interested. So I finally got my pictures up, it took a while because they ended up all wonky and stuff and they're not completely straight still but it'll do because I am not moving those hooks anymore. So I did use the same command hooks that I used for the vines and the lights and no they're not meant for pictures, well at least I don't think they are but it seems to have worked because they're really really light plastic frames and I've kind of just balanced them like on top. They do like kind of slide about a bit if you touch them but I think they'll be okay because they're so so light. But yeah if you've got heavy pictures and you are like renting like we are, stuff like that then please use like command strips. Don't use these because they probably will fall down unless they are very light like these. So all I've got left to do now is organise my makeup again and basically like sort through my drawers and stuff. Get it all exactly how I want it and then I'll be showing you the final result. <laughs>
think I've got my makeup and everything organised pretty much just the way I want it. So my makeup I'm especially happy with. Um, I absolutely love this stand that I showed you all in my last video but if you haven't seen that obviously I will show you again. So this is just from Amazon and as I said I'll link everything down below. This is a 360 makeup stand so it spins round with easy access to every compartment. It's great for your essentials so it's great for your foundations and stuff that you need like quick easy access to so I've got everything I use pretty much daily on there. All the shelves are adjustable so you can change the height depending on what you need to store there. I've then got these two new stands as well which you haven't seen because they arrived after I filmed my last video. So I've got this stand which is absolutely amazing for palettes because it's open-ended so palettes like my huge Morphe palette can easily fit at the back because it just extends over the edge. And then I've got this one which a lot of people use for like lipsticks and stuff like that but I've used it for my eyelashes. I wanted something where I could store them just out in the open and yeah they're really easy to access so all of those three stands were from Amazon and then I've got my makeup brushes separated from base and eyes. This tin is just from a set I got at Christmas for Maybelline lashes so I've kept that tin to use for those brushes and then this one I believe is from Primark it was like one or two pounds just on the sale rack and I just thought that was a really nice feature to put brushes in. So literally everything in this room furniture wise is from Ikea or Argos. My desk combination came in three separate parts so it's some Alex drawers, a tabletop and you get just a couple of separate legs to attach to the side and then I've got the extension for the top as well with two drawers on which is great for like makeup and stuff like that I've just got perfumes in there at the minute I'll link it down below it is four different parts but it does come like as a combination and then I believe you get the stand the extender separate I've then got my lac shelves these are really really popular for beauty rooms they are open ended shelves and they just freestand, I should probably attach them to the wall but <laughs> they just freestand and I just put whatever I feel like putting on there so I've got like my false plants, I've got my YSL at the top, I've got just a few candles and just decorative like bits and pieces, I've got these really cute quotes that my friend got me so never let anyone dull your sparkle and find the rainbow in every day, I just thought they were so so cute and I always have those on display and I've got like my heart ornament my little cute cactus and my llama trinket dish. So they're really good for keeping things on display. Those shelves are £50 per set so a little pricier than standard shelves like Billy bootcases and stuff like that but they are worth it and they have so much depth so you can keep as much on it as you want. I've then got my chair, this is from Amazon and it's super super comfortable not only for makeup but because I'm working at home at the minute and I'm sure a lot of other people are as well. It's really really comfortable, it moves up and down so it's kind of like a salon chair but it's really soft fabric so I absolutely love that. My cushion is from one of my absolute favourite shops ever, Neon Sheep. There's not many around the country at the minute but I know they're opening some more. It is honestly just such an adorable shop. It sells stationery, home accessories, I've got loads of like bowls and like kitchen stuff from there but it's really kind of quirky and just really really nice so yeah I'll link that down below as well. Oh my god, look at my background now, I can't believe how well this has turned out. So thank you so so much for watching, that is my beauty room complete. My whole beauty and makeup room transformation is finally done. I've been filming this for the entire day, like I got up the earliest I ever get up on a weekend but I'm so so happy with the results, like it was well worth it. So I hope you've enjoyed and I've inspired you to decorate your own room, your bedroom, beauty room, whatever that may be because you can do it on a budget. It is so so doable and the stuff you can get for really really cheap you would never even imagine. Like I keep banging on about in this video, IKEA is the place to go. And they're opening again soon, I've heard, so it's a perfect time to go and get your furniture. So if you have enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, 
click the links down below as well everything that I've featured in this video don't forget to have a look because there's so many amazing things out there you can get to decorate your room and other than that I'll see you all again in the next video